Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the falling leaf stitch, which you can see here. Uh, the falling leaf stitch features a fun pop of texture uh, with these little uh, sort of cluster stitches, uh, raised cluster stitches that look like falling leaves. The result, uh, result fabric, is a uh, solid fabric with these little puffs of texture. This is your back here. It's relatively smooth. I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch, the falling leaf stitch, in crochet patterns in the future. You can let me know in the comments. Today for this tutorial, I'm going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook as well as a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn. Thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe and take a look at some of the other stitch tutorial videos here on my channel. And uh, one final note about the materials that I use today, you will find the links to both of these items in the description of this video. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and learn how to crochet this falling leaf stitch. Today I will be working the falling leaf stitch in rows. So we are going to start by making our slip knot and then start with a foundation chain and your foundation chain needs to have a multiple of four stitches plus two. So today I'm going to chain a total of 22 stitches. Once you have your desired number of stitches, you can begin by working a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. One, two, and then a single crochet into each chain all the way across. At the end of your row, you can chain one and turn your work. For row two, you are going to single crochet into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. So single crochet into that first stitch and into each stitch all the way across. At the end of row two, you can chain three and turn your work. In row three, your chain three at the beginning does count as a double crochet stitch. So we're going to begin this row by working a double crochet stitch into each of the next three stitches. So skip that one with the chain three coming out into the next, each of the next three stitches, work one double crochet stitch. We're now going to work the first of our leaf stitches. To work the leaf stitch, you are going to work in the row two rows below your current row. So for this first stitch, we're going to work around the post of the single crochet stitch two rows below, and you want it to be that next one. So this, we're going to work in the fifth single crochet two rows below. To work the leaf stitch, you're going to yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook from the front through to the back, out through the front again around the post of that fifth single crochet stitch or the single crochet di uh, directly below, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three loops on your hook, yarn over, Insert your hook around the post of that stitch, that same stitch, once again, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have five loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through four loops, two loops left. Yarn over and pull through two. That is your leaf stitch. 
We're then going to, working now back up in our current row, we're going to skip that next stitch and work one double crochet into each of the next three stitches. So there's one, two, and three. We're now going to work another leaf stitch. So working around that post of the stitch, the next stitch, two rows below. So you'll have three skipped single crochets there since the last leaf stitch. Around the post of that single crochet two rows below, yarn over, insert your hook around the post, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over, insert your hook around the same post, yarn over and draw up a loop. With four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through, or sorry, five loops, pull through four loops, two left, yarn over and pull through two. You're now going to repeat all the way across. So looking back up at your current row, you're going to skip that next stitch, double crochet in each of the next three stitches. and leaf stitch around the post of the single crochet two rows below. Repeat that all the way across to your final four stitches where you will work a double crochet into each. At the end of this row, you can chain one and turn your work. So this is your back. If you take a look back again at your front, this is what you're going to have. For your next row, your row three, you're simply going to single crochet into that first stitch and then into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row, chain three and turn your work. For row five, we're going to double crochet into the next stitch and then work a leaf stitch into the next or around the post of the next double crochet two rows below. So you'll skip the first two double crochets there in your row into that third one. Around the post is where you're going to work your next leaf stitch. Back up at the top again, you're going to, in your current row, skip that next stitch, double crochet into each of the next three. Leaf stitch around the post of the next double crochet two rows below. So if you take a look at this set of three double crochets here you're working around that middle one. Up top skip the next one double crochet in each of the next three. You're going to repeat this all the way across to your final two stitches where you will work a double crochet into each of those final two stitches.
I have one more leaf stitch here to go in my row. I have my final two stitches where I work a final two double crochets. Chain one, turn your work and single crochet into each stitch all the way across. At the end of your row six, uh, you will have finished the rows needed for the pattern. So for the rest of this pattern, for as long as you would like these leaf stitches for, you're going to repeat rows three through to six. So your row three started off with that chain three, turn your work, double crochet in each of the next three, followed by a leaf stitch. Then your row four is single crochet row. Your row five was the double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a leaf stitch. And then your row six of single crochet stitches. So repeat that for the length of your pattern. And uh, that's all there is. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to crochet the falling leaf stitch. Once again, I invite you to subscribe. Check out some of the other videos there and have fun crocheting. I'll see you again next week. Happy crocheting. Bye.